Whoa, whoa, what's going on everybody today? I have another I don't know what that delay was, but today I have another uh jean review, I guess you could say, and this one is just all jeans. Now, before, if you guys watched my previous uh jean haul and review that I did on the Gap versus the Old Navy, and that one I only found Old Navy relaxed slim pants, which I was like, okay, like I said, those turned out to be like my favorite fitting ones, but then you know, Old Navy had a new sale, which is a lot of places have sales after the holidays because they, you know, that's the lowest time. Well, it's not exactly the lowest time in retail, probably February is, but that's when you push out all the stuff that you were trying to push out before Christmas and now most of the stuff goes on sale. So all four jeans that you see here are slim fit. Now, before I showed you the relaxed slim, these, all four of these jeans, jeans, <laughs> all four of these jeans are Old Navy Slim Fit for men's with the built-in stretch. So I wanted to see how those compared to the relaxed fit. So today we're just gonna go over these, you know, do the little try on. I'm gonna try to speed up the talking parts. So I've got a little bit of feedback on the, um, like when I talk about them before I put them on that I should speed those up. So yeah, let's get straight into it then. Okay, and just a disclaimer before we start, um, I'm probably gonna be standing on top of the chair again. Maybe eventually I'll figure out a different way, but it, it works to show the whole jeans off. But the first pair of jeans are these gray jeans. Um, I'll put the exact names down in the description below. The way Old Navy does it is just they they put the serial number and then you look it up online and then it just says like, you know, dark gray, for example, for these instead of giving them like a name, you know, but I'll, I'll bring them up close. I even got my pants hangers from Amazon to make the pants, you know, hang up instead of just using the regular hangers. Now, these say $19.99. I think for the most part, I've put down my the price I got them for, but there was a sale for all the slim jeans. And then on top of that, there was 25% off. So most of these aren't exactly accurate. This one actually might be for 20 bucks, but the rest of them say like 40, 30 bucks. But uh, hopefully the sale sale going on so you guys can take advantage of that too. But as you can see here, slim, built-in flex. These are kind of like a washed gray. I don't have any gray pants, so I kind of liked how these looked. Um, going throughout, you can see that they have the silver buttons. Silver button, zipper enclosure with the black zipper. Um, black pockets on the inside of both pockets on the back. Also, not really black, just like a faded gray in there. Um, looking at the back, you can see we have what? One, two, three, four. Let me do my math real quick for the amount of belt loops. There's two right here, two on the side, and then one on the back. So that's five. <laughs> five belt loops. <laughs> uh, nice stretchy material. Again, let's put it up. Same as the relaxed fit or the relaxed stretch. You know, I really like that material. So I was thought, you know what, might as well try it out. And then maybe I'll do a comparison video to the Gap jeans as well. Um, other than that, you just have... The gray stitching all throughout, all throughout. Boom. Kind of like a faded, almost a light wash gray. These aren't bad. You know, I can't complain about them. Let's show you the tags real quick. Like I said, 3032. All of these are 3032. Slim, built-in tough, 24-7. And then this is just a built tough tag right there. Okay. And, you know, that's mainly at the inside. I guess if you really wanted to see it, you know it's nothing too crazy on the inside of these. Just the basic black pockets, uh, washer tag, everything like that. Okay. I, I sped it up a little bit. That's how quick I'm going to try to. The next ones I'm going to try to do quicker. But let's go into the on body. All right. Now, the biggest difference you can see if you did watch the Relax Slims was that, is that these are a lot more slim through the thigh. And that's pretty much what slim is. It's not exactly skinny because skinny is just like, as as tight as it can go all throughout i do kind of like the slims you can see it at when we get to the last um, model that i want to show you that's probably my favorite as far as how it looks and it fits these look kind of tight like not super crazy um obviously you look you can still move so it kind of cancels out that they look tight because they have so much mobility and just more so for like the structure of them um i do like these like again I would like to know down below what you guys think about the fit of these, at least on me. And if you don't think they're too bad, I'm still in my head about it a little bit. But I do like how these fit. And, you know, $20 with 25% off, you can't get really go wrong from these. Um, 
getting more up close. Well, I'll do the sitting shot after, but getting more up close. I kind of like that these are 3032 as opposed to the gaps, the 2932s that I got. Even though I can technically fit those, this gives just a little bit more space in the waist for me so that I could wear a belt with these if I wanted to. Or, you know, it just makes it not as tight, you know, even if I got stuff in my pockets or just depending on the shirts that I got tucked on with it. We'll do a quick sit down look. Boom, boom. Um, these are a little bit longer too. I could do the cuff on there and it would still sit nicely. Even when I do sit down, it's not like they ride up. They kind of stay where they are. So I like that too. And again, these are 32. So you can kind of tell I'm 5'7". So they go all the way down and I've probably got like a little bit more space. So, you know, you can't go wrong. Maybe I could pull off like the 3030s, but I like getting the 3032 anyway. So let's go on to the next ones. Next jeans are these uh, Old Navy. I guess I don't have to say Old Navy every time, but I know these are the bleach splatter ones. I, I'm pretty sure the actual name has something to do with bleach or tie dye or something in there. Uh, these are cool. They're light washed. And then they have just random bleach spots throughout. Or, I mean, they say they're bleach, but they do look like bleach. Or white paint, but I'm, I don't want to say bleach too many times. But it, it looks like they just speckled it out right here on one of the legs. Boom. Go real up real quick. It's all throughout, even to the leg right there. That's just the front. I'll show you the other side real quick. Going up. This has the gold um, stitching all throughout, as you can see, for the buttons, silver buttons. Uh, zipper is a silver zipper. As you can see, the gold stitch going through all, all throughout the legs and the back of the pants. The back of the pants also have, even, I kind of like that on this back pocket, they got some more splatter. Top, you know, boom. Not much to say, just giving you a quick rundown of the bleach. You you kind of get the point. They they splattered it out, but it's not an overkill on this, so I kind of like that. Um, here's a tag. See, these ones say forty dollars, but I can tell you right now, I didn't pay forty for them. I think these were also like twenty dollars, and then I got twenty five percent off. Um, built in tough tag, thirty thirty two with the slim built in tough, you know, flex, slim on the inside of the pockets, just light. Boom, light jean material also. Silver buttons, like I said, five belt loops again. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, inside of the pocket, regular light wash color in there. Then on the inside, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing too special, just the innards of the pockets, you know. So let's go into the on body now. Okay, compared to the gray ones, you guys can see that these have a, I mean, they're the exact same slim uh, models, but you can see these kind of have a little bit more space than the gray ones. You can see for the gray and when I show you the black, those are a little bit more form fitting than the two uh, regular jeans go. And they're still the same built in flex material, but I probably find that it has something to do with the different color fabrics of the denim and stuff. Uh, give you a quick turn around right there. Boom. I, I like these. These ones don't look as bad. They're almost similar to the relaxed fit. We'll give you a quick squat test right there. Boom. Um, they're not exactly as wide as the relaxed fit, but I do like that these are still slim, but they have a little bit more space. Um, I'll give you a quick sit down look. Boom. Boom. Come close. Show you the waistband on these again. I don't even know if this part's necessary, but it just gives you, because even if you get your exact size, you're still going to have a little bit of space in there. So I like that. And even though it looked kind of like I had like an inch of space, it's not like these are going to fall off if I push them down since... Your thighs kind of keep them up and just in general. And even still, if you wanted to wear a belt, you could give you a quick another run around. And these are just, they're not bad. You know, I can't complain. These just are kind of like a, above average to me, I guess, if I could rank them. Like I can pull them off, but it's not like you can wear them with everything. But it's not bad. It's never bad to have multiple types of light wash jeans and different colors to go with different stuff. So let's go on to the next one. Starting on the opposite side now, but the next ones we got are these black denims. Um, let's just go straight into it real up close look. These are not exactly like pitch black, like dyed black. These are a little bit faded, but not as faded as the grays. Let me just do a quick. As you can see, yeah, these are very light compared to these, but they still have a little bit of distressing 
not to the point where it's like cut up or anything, but a little bit distressing wash wise, you know, as you can see from the pockets, they got the lines and then towards the knee area, it's a little bit like wider to kind of give it the worn in black look. But I do kind of, I, I like these, honestly. I like how the color looks and everything. Um, going up the legs, you can see, boom. Uh, black button. And the other buttons are also black. Inside of the pocket, gray. Boom, same for the other one. Uh, I kind of like how the insides on these look. I mean, they don't have anything special in there, but it's just kind of like a almost gray, tan, like, inside of these. Um... Other than that, I guess I can show you the back too, obviously. Boom, inside the pockets also have that gray tan material going up. Boom, black stitching all throughout. Black or, it's it could be a black or a dark gray. Because even though these are black, they look similar to almost like a dark grayish. Like, they're way grayer than these, but they, they could look like, I mean, it's just supposed to look like a faded black. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling. You guys can kind of see anyways, but. I mean, yeah, I guess I'll show you. The tags are all the same, but I'll still just do it for the benefit of the dot. Boom, built-in flex. Um, let's see what the price is on these. $29.99. And the crazy thing was I went into the store like a couple weeks ago. Not even a couple weeks ago, like last week, looking for these. And they had them all for $29.99. And I thought about maybe I'll cop like two pairs, right? I'm glad I waited because I went online and was able to cop four pairs for almost the same price as I would have been, you know, 60 bucks for two of these. And I got pretty much all of these were like 15 bucks. So I spent like a little under 70 or a little bit over 70. So can't complain. Get two jeans or get four, you know. <laughs> so I'll go into the on body on these real quick. And I know the yellow shirt doesn't go with all of these. It just kind of went with the shorts. I was just going to wear a beater in the shorts, but I was like, whatever. Let me put on a little, little decent outfit for this. But. Going into these, you can kind of see similar with the tan or the, why I say tan, the gray jeans that these fit a little bit more slim, uh, more slim compared to the light wash ones. And I'll do a quick little spin around for you. Not super quick, you know, I'm not going to fall off, but a, a decent little grandpa retirement pace spin for you. Um, but they do look nice on body. I can't complain about them. Give you the quick little squat test. Boom. And I did leg day today, still knocked them squats out. But <laughs> other than that, you know, let me give you the quick sit. Boom, boom. And uh, also put down below if there's any way I could describe these more to you. I feel like I'm doing an adequate job, but maybe there's a few things I could do to kind of, you know, sell you the product more. It's not like I'm sponsored by these, but just to get you to understand, because I know I like that when I'm buying something to know all I can about it. I think I'm covering all the bases, but if not, you know, I could definitely use some constructive criticism on that just to see if there's anything I left out, but waist size, boom. And as for all of these, these are all very comfortable. You know, they're still built with the same, like similar materials, the built-in flex, but they're a little bit different as far as fabric wise and color goes, but these are all very comfortable. They almost feel as comfortable as just wearing like some sweatpants, honestly. Now that's, that's not exactly where they're at, but it's it's almost up to that comfort, you know? Some really nice, like, uh, like Nike tech fleece. That's almost how these feel. And uh, don't quote me on that. I'm just saying just from my own experience that they do. They're, they're more comfortable than your average jean. So, yeah, you know, and then now that I'm done with the rant, let's go on to the last pair. <laughs> pair. And I just think it's funny real quick. I'll show y'all the magic button. Now, this came with my ring light. But tell me why I got it. I film off of a Samsung. Our button's so little for Android, but this bottom button is so, so big for the iPhone, you know? <laughs> it's just crazy how that stuff works. But on to the jeans. This has to be my favorite pair. It's not like I'm ranking any of these, since they're all pretty much the same thing, just different colors. But I really like the wash of this pair. I really like how these um, jean manufacturers, as far as Levi's, Old Navy Gap, etc., they're bringing back these original colorways but giving them that stretch to them so it makes them more wearable and you know more modern to the times but coming up close who way too close <laughs> these have the um you know i'm trying to figure out the word for it but it's the very you know <laughs> what they're known for with the with the bronze button as far as like old school pants goes then they have the silver buttons on the side as well this is just kind of like a cool blue 
almost light wash, but a little bit darker light wash, because you can see this is like super light wash compared to these jeans. But this is kind of a dark blue, almost, you know, Levi's blue colorway, faded a little bit. I don't know. You see, that's the thing about denim colors. I don't know exactly how they all go, but. Oh, yeah, and you have a little bit of phrase, because these are kind of look like like lived in farm jeans, if I could compare them to anything, but they got the nice little distress um, phrase every, uh, well, I was about to say every now and then, but around the jeans, and then they have the cool little faded color, kind of simulating that these have been worn a lot, you know, got a lot of work in them, and they survived through a lot, you know, but um, back with the golden stitching as well, golden stitching all throughout, inside of the pockets, just the dark blue original denim color so that's probably what they look like before they faded them same with the other pocket five belt loops as well um front pockets boom you can kind of look in there same dark dark denim material inside same thing as before just a regular just inside of the jeans nothing too crazy let me show you the tags again for the final time slim built-in flex these ones didn't even have like a half off tag or anything, but I can guarantee I'll put my prices down there in the description below, but I'll put like the actual prices that are up on the website when I do like the information on these that I usually put in there in the text. But yeah, I guess that's, <laughs> that's all I can kind of go over for this. So it's on body time. Boom, boom. Now I really like these, honestly. These aren't as crazy as like, exaggerated in thighs as the relaxed fit are but since they do look so lived in they they give that um shape as well they're not too tight they're not too form-fitting and, and it makes it look believable that these have been washed a lot and they kind of shrunk over time in the washer from being the regular relaxed fit but let me give you a quick 360 on these and like i said these are my favorite i just really like this um blue color with the denim and they just look like like i said it's I really like things that have that classic look, but then they more modern them up with the fabric and technology in them to make them, you know, more durable and wearable for these days. Boom, squat real quick. That's pretty much it for these, man. I can't, I cannot complain. I think out of all of them, I like these the most. But I'm, I'm going to give all of these wear. Uh, right now, I guess, maybe I should do a comparison video to show the differences between the relaxed fit and uh, the relaxed slim, I should say, in the regular slim for Old Navy. So I think I'll do that. A little bit of space. Not too much, like I said. Can still wear a belt if I want to, but I don't have to wear a belt. And yeah, I mean, overall, good prices on everything. Like I said, um, you guys should really sign up for those emails and stuff because that's where I ended up finding this good. They sent me a 25% off on everything, and that even included the sale. So it was 25% off of the website. And then they had a sale on men's slim jeans specifically. So they were all already half off or, you know, a little bit more than half off. So then it was that on top of the 25%. So all of these came out to be like 14 bucks, 15 bucks at the most. So like I said, I, I really can't complain about Old Navy's quality. I know everybody used to talk junk on them before. They're kind of getting their image back out there. For a while, I was rocking a lot of American Eagle jeans. But right now, I think... These might take the cake. I really like the American Eagle jeans, but they're like a more thin when they do their um, flex material. And these still feel like regular jeans, but they're still so movable and breathable. So yeah, I mean, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, go down below and give me your um, opinions on stuff. Tell me if I need to add more stuff. Not stuff, but more information about the jeans. What, what more could I go over or should I speed things up? Just let me know kind of for the pacing. I'm not going to make every video 30 minutes if I don't have to. That's kind of just what it tends to be after I'm done with everything. But yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram at RIP Chaso to see all or at least some of these in upcoming photos and just to see the um, outfits that I've made prior. So yeah, you know, <laughs> time for the outro. You know, see y'all next week. I've been consistent one video a week and we out here. We done with it. Have a good night. Or morning.